The longer this Cristiano Ronaldo situation goes on at Manchester United without it being resolved, the more of an impact I think it's having on our preparations for the season, on Eric Ten Hag's preparations for the season, which went really well, I think, in the pre-season tour. And today, we saw Ronaldo return to the squad. His first minutes under Eric Ten Hag missed five days of pre-season training before the tour, missed the tour, obviously didn't fly out for Oslo, and played 45 minutes today before being taken off at half-time. And there's some pictures that have come out now of Cristiano Ronaldo uh, leaving Old Trafford before the full-time whistle. Uh, one picture there, one picture there. And uh, there's been an intense reaction online, a really intense. I've sat there for an hour. I've tried to like let it develop and see what happens and what comes from it. But I want to I, I wanna say something on it, right? And I, I want you to let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'm going to try and present as many of the, any, any of the facts that we have in front of us before we dive into this straight away, right? First things first, there's quite a few people who are saying, ah, Delo's in the background, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Delo wasn't even in the matchday squad, people. Like, let's not go crazy. Uh, and the first thing that people have, have said straight away, he goes, how do you know that that wasn't uh, prearranged with Eric Ten Hag? I'm not really sure why Eric Ten Hag would uh, allow that uh, because uh, these images can be quite powerful. In a situation where it seems like Manchester United are battling to hold on to Cristiano Ronaldo, for Eric Ten Hag to let him leave at half time in his first appearance under him would seem like a strange thing. Maybe it's for recovery. What an ice bath. Can't wait for 45 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's a weird flex. That's, that's a weird take. I don't think that's the case. And look, uh, this uh, again, I, I try to say that this is not an agenda against any individual. This is an agenda for my football club, for Manchester United. Cristiano Ronaldo was there before the kickoff, meeting fans greeting fans and it was it was decent enough to see him back in the United shirt lo and behold he was completely off the pace who could have possibly predicted that uh, and there were a couple of pictures obviously that emerged during the game of Cristiano Ronaldo talking with Eric Ten Hag getting some instructions no one really knew how that what those conversations were about of course they didn't but I don't really care what you'd say it's just not a good look it's not a good look as it, I'm, I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm going to regret doing this video because I try not to be too overreactionary and I've tried to present things when I know all of the facts. This one I might I feel like I might be jumping on it a little bit too early, but I feel quite um I feel quite strongly about this Ronaldo situation. I really really do about where the power is lying here because I'll be honest, Ronaldo's acted a bit weird this week. I think so anyway. In the build up to the game, we saw what happened over on Instagram. Ronaldo announcing that on Sunday, the King plays, uh, sort of confirming that he was going to be playing against Rayo Vallecano. Uh, and I, again, we don't know whether he spoke with Ten Hag before that. Or maybe he did, maybe he didn't. And then Ronaldo reacting to all the stories that were in the press. Impossible not to talk about me one day, otherwise the press makes no money, he says. I'm not here to make money. I'm here to talk about my football club. I'm talking about the, the things that are impacting the build-up to this season. This Cristiano Ronaldo story is absolutely dominating it at the moment. It really is because it seems like our plans for attackers, one or two attackers, I don't think it should be related to Ronaldo, but it seems like they're somewhat intertwined. We all know that Ronaldo wants to leave Manchester United. It's not come from one journalist. It's come from all the journalists. It was Duncan Castle who broke it and it's just developed and developed and developed. And Cristiano Ronaldo has stayed extremely silent on the whole situation, apart from when he wants to speak out himself. And just a penny for the thoughts of Eric Ten Hag, because it's such a goddamn distraction that he didn't need, he didn't ask for. And I, I just, for the life of me, I don't know why Eric Ten Hag would uh, would say, yeah, all right, Ronaldo, yeah, you just leave at half time, man. But why, 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 why would Ronaldo not stay until full time? That's that, that's that's that, that's probably the reason I've done this video. I understand people who are coming out. Well, actually, I kind of disagree with it, but I understand people like Sam. There's there's an agenda here. You're just trying to you're trying to have a go. It, it, Ronaldo fans are weird. All fans of individual players more so than the club are weird. It, it, it's it's a it's part of a football culture, fan culture that I don't understand. I support my football club. I support Man United, and that's it. But uh, but 
in, in the modern day uh, culture of following football teams, a lot of people just follow individuals and they dot around teams following players and you cannot say a bad word against them. You cannot critique them whatsoever. And I, I, I appreciate that maybe this is a little bit strange for me to do a video like this because I, I've, I like to think I've built a reputation of going on um, facts, on, on building stories before jumping on them. And this might be considered slightly overreactionary. So I, I hope you don't see it that way. But with, with, the, with how intensely important this story is to Manchester United this season, I wanted to do it. And as I said, I just don't think this helps Eric Ten Hag. Now, with, it, with, with Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm not going to cry over any spilt milk, man. You've got three players there. And Roy Keane, Ruben Nistelrooy and David Beckham, who all left Manchester United in acrimonious circumstances. Ruben Nistelrooy, when we brought in... Uh, who was it we brought? Was it Saha? No. When, it, when he didn't start that League Cup final, I think it was. Uh, and he started to fall out with Fergie and Van Nistelrooy left. Beckham, we all know what happened there with Fergie. He fell out with Fergie. Well, make it a hat trick. Keane, we all know what happened there. All three of them left. Three apps of the genuine legends of the club. And we moved on. And we will move on from Cristiano Ronaldo when he leaves. But I, I, just, I just don't think this is a good look. And maybe this is going to get explained, all right? Maybe it's going to come out that Cristiano Ronaldo did have an agreement with Eric Ten Hag that he could leave at half time, But it's just a weird flex. And that's, that, 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 that's, that's the reason I'm doing this video. Because at, at a time when all these stories are so intense, uh, he hasn't turned up for any of the preseason tour. He didn't turn up for the five days before it because of personal family reasons, which we're, we're never going to find out about. Of course, that's, that's down to the, the personal relationship between Ronaldo and the football club. That's down to that. But just... It just doesn't help. It just doesn't help. And as I said, I've just found it really weird this week seeing what Ronaldo was doing on, on, on Instagram. It's sort of like saying the King is going to play on Sunday. What? And then leave a half time as well. You didn't mention that. And then like lashing out at, at the Instagram stories, which is Ronaldo has always been one of the biggest global names in the world. He's used to this sort of attention. It's just, it seems like right now, it feels like he feels he's backed into a corner. He feels like he's lashing out and he's got, to, he's got to try and protect himself, which is what he's doing with these sorts of Instagram posts. But I think I'm, I'm just so, in, I'm so incredibly over distractions taking away from the football at Manchester United. I think that's it. I think that's the crux of my ultimate frustration here. And it comes at the same time that I'm seeing so many goddamn positives in this preseason under a new manager, under a new direction where we're heading somewhere else. And there's things that are just holding us back like a parachute when you're going for a sprint in training. That's just what it feels like. And it's what it feels like this Ronaldo situation is. So that, I think, is why I'm doing this reaction video. I hope you sort of stuck around to listen to my opinion. This isn't me slagging. This isn't me coming here saying, oh, my God, I can't believe blah, blah, blah. Look, Ronaldo was there before the game. He was there meeting fans. And, you, and the people were like, oh, Sam, look, but there's Delo over there. I will reiterate. I know it was Delo there. I think there was others that might have left before the full-time whistle. But, geez, none of them were in the matchday squad. All right? So let's not try and compare those situations. I want to know what you think about this in the comments below. All right? Do you think... I'm overreacting by doing a video on this. Uh, do you think people are overreacting by saying it's disrespectful? You can let me know what you think. But the, but the only fact that we still have is that Ronaldo wants to leave the club. But therefore, seeing this, him leaving Old Trafford at half time in his first appearance under Ten Hag, having missed the whole preseason, it's not a good look. And it only just puts petrol on a fire that is already burning brightly. It just fuels it. So I want to know what you think about that in the comments below. Uh, do you think I'm overreacting? Do you think it's a nothing situation? Or do you think that Ronaldo leaving halftime there, as these pictures confirm, it doesn't confirm that he's going to leave, but what's the headspace? Do you think that Ten Hag would have given him permission to leave at halftime? I really, know what, I really want to know what you think about this in the comments below. As I said, it's a... Slightly different video to what I normally do, but I, f I felt like I wanted to do one on this Ronaldo, this particular part of the Ronaldo situation.